Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Even though Obamacare is not the perfect system, they should at least be either working to improve it or they should replace before they repeal because there's a lot of people that are in danger if they don't. So the idea that if we gather up our money from taxes and we can make a universal health care program is good. The only problem with that is Obamacare, you have to be on it. There's no choice. If you aren't on it, they find you. Well, at first, my family made too much for it, so we were in danger of losing insurance, and then it didn't hit until a year later when my family actually uh, was making less money. So right now, that's how I have my insurance. And I think the biggest issue with the repeal is that they don't have a replacement. Well, as someone with a pre-existing condition, it's very wor worrisome for me because it directly limits some of the jobs I can get in the future by requiring me to look for a job that's going to provide health care for me since I can't purchase it myself. So when you look at the numbers, when it comes to just the name of the Affordable Care Act, when you ask in studies, do you support Obamacare? And the number's only 30 to 40 percent of people who support Obamacare, but then when you ask, do you support the Affordable Care Act, 60 to 70 percent, I'd say yes, I do support that.